Hi there, and welcome to Marks of Maturity. What happens when you leave something unattended? Well, if it's your backyard, it's not good. It's not pretty. Now, my backyard wasn't terrible, but I had left it alone for too long. And just the other day, I attended to it. And I noticed something that I thought was interesting. I have not been great about watering the grass. And that's mostly by choice. Our backyard is territorial in its view. It's not something that's uh, particularly, you know, well developed to this point. And so I just hadn't really bothered with it too much. And so the grass was, as you can imagine, brown and fairly short. It had been left for like probably about 10 days or so. And it hadn't grown a whole lot because we've had this beautiful, warm summer weather over the last uh, several weeks. The dandelions, on the other hand, were vibrant. Uh, they were tall, they were growing, they were flowering, they were doing what dandelions do. And as I was pushing my mower back and forth across the yard, I, I noticed how easy it was to, to mow the short brown grass and how much I had to slow down in order to make sure I got the dandelions cut down to size. So I wanted to ask you, what happens when you leave your spiritual life unattended. My experience has been that when I leave my relationship with Jesus unattended, it tends to do what that grass does. It withers, it turns brown, it, it doesn't thrive, it's just kind of there. And while there's always the hope of revival, it's not gonna happen unless somebody comes along and waters it. It needs nutrients, it needs all those kinds of things. And that can very easily happen for us when we leave our relationship with God alone. We need time in the Word. We need time in prayer. We need time in God's creation where we're not just doing what we want, but we're mindful of our Creator. We need time with other believers. We need to lift our voices and make that joyful noise. Sin, on the other hand, if left unattended, does a lot uh, like what those dandelions did. It grows, it thrives, it multiplies, it spreads, it does all of those things. It doesn't really care that there's no water coming in. It just does what it wants to do. James writes in chapter one, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit here, but he, he writes, he says, no, no one should say that God is tempting me when they're tempted but it's your own selfish desires that uh, lead to temptation and desire gives birth to sin and sin when it's fully grown gives birth to death. It's so much like that. When we leave that unattended, it just runs wild in our lives. So what are you leaving unattended? And I like to suggest that both of those things need your attention. Your relationship with God needs attention so that it will grow and sin needs attention so that it can be rooted out of your life. It needs to be burned, it needs to be cut down, it needs to be pulled from its roots. So take time in the midst of your wonderful summer and attend to your garden, attend to your good spiritual life. God loves you so much. Have a great week.